Paul, thanks very much for joining us here this afternoon in Cape Town. Pleasure. I wonder if you could just give us a very brief introduction and overview to Predictive Discovery. Well, Predictive Discovery is a, an Australian-based uh, listed company uh, and it's operating on a project generator model in West Africa. And what we're offering is uh, or our proposition to uh, investors is effectively a one-stop shop for exposure to, to discovery success, gold discovery success in, in West Africa. We're focused in Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire uh, and we hold over 7,000 square kilometres of permits. Um, what makes predictive discovery good, if you like, at identifying the right areas for discovery success? Well, predictive discovery operates with, with some proprietary uh, methods uh, which, which are focused on, on mapping uh, uh, structures that control uh, gold mineralisation and we use certain uh, methods of, of uh, uh, geophysical data processing uh, that we think gives us an edge. Um, we, we also have a significant advantage also because we're very well embedded in West Africa, we're very well connected, um, we understand how the system works and we have very good people working for us there. And you've also got a, a strategy of, of partnering with other people to take some of the, uh, or share some of the financial risk and reward of, of these projects. Talk us through how that, how that works in practice. Okay, alright. So that, that's, that's what I, I'm talking about when I'm, I mention Project Generator. Yeah. Um, specifically what, what uh, we do is we pick up ground, uh, relatively early stage ground, uh, we carry out the, the first phases of exploration and we add value. This is, this is a, a, a part in the life cycle of a project where most value is created. We'll take it up to the drilling stage. When it, it looks as if we need heavy lifting, then we'll draw in a partner uh, who will fund uh, significant um, drilling programs and we will then start to contribute when we've reached an equity of around 30, 30 to 40%. And just talk us through some of the, the, the sort of results you've had, had recently over the last few months and what we maybe could expect going forward. Right, so we, we've had uh, um, excellent drill results coming out of, of one of our joint ventures with Toro Gold in, in uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, particularly on the Bundiali project. And there we've identified a, uh, a, a deposit which is at least a kilometre long, uh, best intercepts of, of 20 metres of 10.5 grams, 28 metres of 4 grams, with visible gold. It's a, it's a virgin discovery, there were, there were no uh, artisanal workers on the site, it was discovered by geochemistry, and substantial additional potential uh, in other areas along strike and uh, in other geological positions in the same permit. And then looking forward, are you expecting some more drilling results over the yes, next few are. months? Yes, we are. So we're expecting a lot of news flow over the, over the next um, uh, year. Uh, we've got um, uh, Darman drilling starting in a week. Uh, approximately on this Bundiali project. Um, we've got uh, a significant RC drilling programs in prospect between now and the end of June. We have Diamond drilling also on another project, not in the Toro JV, uh, called Boboso. Again, we expect that to be funded by a partner. Um, and, uh, and we also expect, by the time we get to the middle of the year, having significant drilling programs on our Burkina Faso projects that have been quiet in the last 12 months. So a lot of news flow to come. Well, thank you very much for your time. Sounds like an exciting year ahead. Thank you very much.